Viewers have spoken. I gave you four videos to choose from. The overwhelming favorite was the bike purge. Now let me say, a bike purge is not me getting rid of all my bikes. It's me making room for new bikes because I currently have way too many. And I'll also say I would like you to keep a running tally as we go through what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to get rid of, and what might be on the bubble. The goal is to get down to 6 to 10, maybe 12 bikes, so I'll have room to add more in the future. There are a few bikes that need to be on the list, so we'll start out the counting right now, but ones you won't actually see because I don't have them in my possession or don't have access to them currently. Starting with the Schwinn Boundary Project Boundary. A very good bike, currently loaned out, and that might be going to someone, so it's definitely going to get cut. I think someone else will end up with that bike. The Hyper Carbon X26, Project X, where I made it 27.5, also loaned out. Mark that one as on the bubble. I would get rid of it because I haven't ridden it. That's my rule. Six months if I haven't ridden it. I'm not going to keep it in my possession, but that one, I've got some nostalgia with it. So put a bubble mark on that. The Hyper Carbon X29, Project X29, also loaned out, but that one I think is going to get donated. The Schwinn Aluminum Comp. I am not getting rid of Project Comp. One of my most ridden, one of my favorite bikes. Currently, though, it is inaccessible. It's in some shared storage space, and I can't get to it and a couple of other bikes. The Electric Expedition, the Electric XP Trike. There are also two more Hyper e-bikes, the Hyper e-Ride Mountain Full Suspension. I have two of those. Both of them are currently loaned out, but they're also both on the bubble. At least one of them will get donated, and I might donate both. Why would I donate both? We'll get to the first bikes you can see because I have this. Project E, I've been working on it and I'm still not done. There is no way I'm getting rid of this bike. I just put in 20 miles and a cover all day. Three trails, one day, 29 miles. Yeah, I'm liking this bike, so it is safe. Behind it, told you this is going to be messy, or if I didn't, now you know it's going to be messy. The Mongoose Switchback Comp, I love this purple color. Beautiful, beautiful bikes. Dick Sporting Goods. These are on sale for $399.99 right now. Hmm, kind of interesting that the price has already started dropping on these. There's competition in our big box priced bikes. This one beautiful, but it will be getting donated. So will its sibling. The Switchback Expert, a little fancier. With the hydraulic disc brakes, I have reviews on all of these bikes. I can't tag them all in the description, but you can just search out my channel to see a review on anything you want to see. Dropper ready. I like this. A good, good bike. $699.99 right now at Dick's Sporting Goods. This will also be getting donated. Moving up. Technically a bike. It's only part of a bike right now because I have the wheel loaned out. Yeah, I do that a lot. Loan out parts, the back wheel is loaned out actually. I have the front wheel off to the side, but the Ozark Trail Ridge 29, I've been building this out. A very, very good bike. They're even updating these bikes. Very nice, so definitely we'll be keeping that. The Hydroform, that's just a frame. All that's left of the old Hydroform build, because for whatever reason, they replaced this with two bikes that were inferior. All you had to do was put a tapered head tube on this frame and it would have been so awesome. But that's just kind of a legacy frame. I guess I'll hang on to it. It makes good wall art. Also in the keep category, Jiminy Cricket. This is the Unero Z1. A little folding or semi-folding e-bike. This is my preferred campground bike when I'm out RVing. Little battery acts as a battery pack. It's removable. A nice, nice little bike. I like it, they don't sell it anymore, but I ride this so much when I'm RVing that I am keeping that for sure. I almost forgot about this. This will be wall art here in the bike barn once I get things repainted or painted now that I've done the OSB. This is a Mongoose BMX bike. I can't remember the model, but it's the Max bike from Stranger Things. I like this bike and somewhere up in there, can't see it, but there, yeah, you can barely see it. That's the radio, the Stranger Things radio. I have one of those too. And I also see here some electric accessories that will go with the Expedition when you see it again. 
Oh, and I'm keeping this for sure. Now to the basement where you'll see why purges are necessary. I can't even walk in here. I have bikes in every corner stacked up amongst my blow molds. And I'm going to start with these two bikes. I apologize for the shadows, but this is, this is how it is now. This is the Schwinn Axum DP, Project Axum DP. No way I'm getting rid of this, at least until I build out the Axum Comp X with comparable specs. And then we compare the two. These are still available on the Walmart website the last time I looked. And that is a good, good platform. I've been really happy with the way this bike ended up. That's a keeper. Behind that, those graphics, the ugly tires, different color tires, front and rear, that's the Schwinn Cutback. This was one of those bikes that kind of helped the channel. $99 when I discovered it, I put a few parts on it, made it look a little better and ride a little better. Unfortunately though, I haven't ridden this in over a year. It's cut time for the Cutback that will be donated. More Schwinn's. I have three in a row here. Well, actually, that makes five in a row Schwinn's. This is the Schwinn Aluminum Comp. They call it the women's version on the website. But I know men that have ridden this bike. It's a beautiful frame. It's a good looking frame. If you are vertically challenged, it is the frame to go to for the Aluminum Comp bikes. And I love that little gray to teal fade. I built this out a little bit. I called it Project Sea Mist. Haven't been on it in more than six months, actually a year. Bluke brakes, I forgot about those. So see, I haven't ridden this. And look, I've taken the pedals off at some point. I'll find new pedals, put them on, and that'll get donated, as will this. Now this is the Schwinn Ascension. I love the look of this frame, but this bike never really fit me all that well. I don't think I ever know. It's still running the factory grips and everything. I've never touched this bike. The Ascension. It's a good bike. I don't even think they sell these at Target anymore. I haven't seen them in a while anyway. I'll be donating that Ascension. And I said three Schwins in a row. This is not a Schwinn. This is the Mongoose Ardor. The Ardor has its fans. There are people that love this bike. And I made this kind of a semi-project. I put, I remember this, these were heavy, but oh, they looked good. And I had a crank set to, oh yeah, I took the crank set off. I haven't ridden this. I'm not going to build this out any further. I'll just put it back together and then I'll donate the ardor. Segway to something I also haven't ridden. If you recall from my videos, there's a little bitty crack in that fork. I think on green trails, it would still be maybe safe to ride, but I'm not riding it. This is that beautiful Cannondale Lefty. If you don't know where the Lefty name comes from, there you go. I love this bike. This is a made in the USA bike. Back when Cannondale was so amazing. Went right there on the head tube. Made in the USA. Fancy head shock stuff. I tell you, I really like this bike. It might become a wall hanger, even though I don't ride it. I just can't see donating this. I don't know. We'll still, we'll call that a bubble bike. Moving on. Here's some more bikes. The Mongoose Durham Project Pork Chop. I'm hanging on to Project Pork Chop. I don't think I've ridden it in six months, but I know I've ridden it within the last year. So I'm gonna, I mean, look at that fork. Beautiful, beautiful. I need to follow up on this bike. Get it out on Magnolia. I haven't ridden it on the new trail out there since that was done. So maybe it has been over six months. Either way, I think I'm gonna hang on to the Durham. So another keeper. Sandwiched in between it and another bike is my Priority 600. It has the pinion gearbox. Fancy, fancy stuff. And you can see it's still shiny. I get this out every now and then. Even though it's been sandwiched in here for probably six months, I'll call this a bubble bike too because, man, these Priority bikes are so, so good. And you know I'm keeping this because I'm not done. I just got this. The new Axum, that beautiful red, that swooping top tube, the internal and external cable routing. This bike's just begging to have something done to it. So this will make it through the 2024 purge. 
This, however, will not. I told you the hydroform was replaced with two bikes. This was one of the two. And I made this into a little project bike. I think I called it Project Cheap. Was this the one that was Project Cheap? I don't know if this was or not. But I made this kind of the blue and orange theme. Okay, little bike. But I will be donating this. Somebody can get a Project Bike through the donation system. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. In front of that, the Kent Truvail, one of my remaining, I think I've had three of these. And this one, I borrowed the seat post clamp off of. I don't even know that I've ridden this particular one. It's a little dirt there on the tire, so maybe I have. Believe it or not, I'm probably gonna donate this. Not because I don't like the Truvail, and I don't think the Truvail has a future. It's definitely still a really good bike. A lot of competition now. But I have access to another True Veil, so it's time to let someone else have some fun with this one. It will be donated. A bike that only gets ridden once a year, and that's if it snows. My Dolomite ALX. Oh yeah, I forgot I did the sticker there with the Maurice the Mongoose. As a matter of fact, this one, those framed Wolf Tracks tires, they bleed the tubes in there at least bleed down after about three months it only gets aired up when it snows but because it is my go-to snow bike i'm keeping that one for sure a little bit of giordano love there is the giordano intrepid and then there's this the giordano valor this bike because there's the intrepid i think i'm probably going to donate it too Another donator, and this one might surprise you, the Mongoose Ledge X2. The only reason I'm going to donate it is because it's the exact same frame on the Ledge X1 and the X2, and I have Project Ledge. $3,500 worth of upgrades that made it into a beast that I love to this day. So this one will be getting donated as well. This might look or sound a little different from this point forward because I'm on a different phone. My other one's giving me problems. That's the Apple iPhone life now. This, though, not a problem. This is the Schwinn Taff Comp. A beautiful, beautiful little project bike that just kind of came together. Cheap fork and all. Can't remember if this was the fork that leaks air, though. But I do know this rides super, super well. I'm going to hang on to this for a little while. I haven't ridden it in six months. I need to get it back out onto the trail. But this one will be a keeper. And this Huffy Cranbrook, still beautiful. I love these little bikes with their fat-ish tires. This was going to be a kit bike for a 49cc two-stroke kit. But then e-bikes made that kind of irrelevant. So this just got parked and gave that kit away. This got parked. And finally, I'm going to donate this, and it's going to be out of my corner. This is literally a brand new bike. It's never been ridden. The Cranbrook, that will be getting donated, as will this. I know that doesn't look like much, but trust me, there's a bike there. I have all the parts. The original Schwinn Axum, I've just got to put it back together. But this is a good, good bike. It just needs to be put back together. Now, it will be sans the dropper post that I had on it the last time I think you saw it. I'll put a regular seat post back on this. But the axle will be put together, and then I'll donate it because I have other axles and newer axles. We're getting to the dark recesses of the basement here, and another bike that I absolutely love, or I love the idea. Oh, well, that bell hasn't aged well. There we go. I love the idea, this Cortello from Detroit Bikes. They make a quality, quality product. And this, oh my gosh, that's a lot of dust. So that tells you, I don't think I've been on this bike since I reviewed it, or not long after I reviewed it. This is something that's just been sitting here, flat tire and all, collecting dust. I like this because it's U.S. made, but I'm not, I'm not riding it. I don't want to waste a bike, so unfortunately, when it's getting down to where I'm having to make tough decisions, I think I'm going to have to give this bike a cut. It's not going to make it. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bike, but I just don't think I can hang on to it. I think someone else. It deserves to be ridden. 
I'm going to let someone else ride the Cortella. Definitely in the recesses here, pinned between a concrete wall and some storage containers with Christmas decorations, and this box of lawn darts I found at a yard sale. Yeah, I don't even think it's legal to sell those, but I got it for a dollar. Maybe I'll play with it one day. We'll see. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They're dangerous. This is the Priority Classic Plus Gotham, I think. Yeah, Priority Classic Plus Gotham. I had to re-remember the name. It's been so long. I haven't ridden this bike in a while, and it's a good little bike. This used to be my mail getter when I had to run down to the P.O. box, but now I just use an e-bike. So this, I don't know, this is a tough one. I'm going to consider this a bubble bike leaning very much towards the Donate. A beautiful, beautiful little bike, still in excellent condition. There is some wear on those tires from the miles but it's a good good bike i hate the idea of letting it go belt drive priority quality but i you know i think it's time i think it's time to let this go another bike sandwiched between storage containers and used as some storage itself this is my ikea slada yeah see some stuff i picked up at a yard sale in the basket the Slada, still beautiful, can't get these anymore. They had a recall on them. Some people got hurt. I really do hate the idea of getting rid of this because this is one of the few that exist in the US. They destroyed all the others after the recall, as far as I understand. So a rare, rare collector's item in the bike world, but I was gonna put this in my loft in the bike barn and that's now full of blow molds. So I don't have anywhere to put it and it's just sitting here literally collecting i don't know if you can see but there's some spider webs in there it's just sitting here but even sitting here and even with dust on it it still looks so good these are works of art i don't know i'm gonna consider it a bubble because i am starting to think maybe it's time oh yeah and the the integrated bell it might be time to de kia this ikea quarters are getting super tight but it did fit in this axome, this beautiful new, new axome, that gorgeous frame. I will probably be donating this in lieu of the axome Comp X, fitting that out a little better. Oop, pull in the way. Fitting that out a little better, but you can see it's in tight quarters. I'm just running out of space. And when I'm having to make hard decisions, you have to make them. I love this frame. It'll be one of the two. Maybe I take the dropper off of the Comp X and build this out. Beautiful, beautiful. And by the way, I just said Axum. This is Axum Comp. Beautiful frame finish. But right now, one of the two is going to get donated. So we'll consider this a donation. We're going to go from there to the other side of the chimney, kind of walk back around. This is my Giordano Intrepid. Sands the front wheel. Also loaned out. I do that a lot. And I can't even remember who I loaned that wheel out to. I need to get it back because it has a through axle there. But the Giordano Intrepid, a great bike. Put a dropper on this awesome bike, disc brakes. Won't go over again. I've reviewed all of these bikes. This one, I think I'm going to hang on to this and do something with it because I haven't had a Giordano build. I think it's time. The Ace. I love this little bike. It's so lightweight, so fun. I mean, this thing doesn't weigh anything, but I think I'm going to donate this bike too because I don't ride it. This isn't my riding style, though with those thick slicks, which are flat now, I need to air those up. But this is a fun bike, a light bike, but it's just not my style and it's collecting dust. And I hate to see that from a priority. They deserve to be ridden. So Ace, is this the Ace of Spades? I think they named it belt drive wonderful wonderful donation sardine mode sandwiched in here together the mod 29 cross country hyper carbon fiber not a big box hyper this is the big boys hyper or the more expensive hyper i think these were 1600 dollars. a good deal for what it is i put a dropper post on it and it turned it into a great great bike out of the box radon fork good stuff I do, though, think I might be donating this. I really do. I don't ride it because I have other bikes that I ride. So somebody might get a really good bike. The Ridge, or not the Ridge, 
the Ozark Trail G.1. I just made another video on this. I have some upgrades pending on this once I figure out what direction I want to go with it. So this is a definite keeper. That, do I even count that as a bike? It's just a frame and extension cord holder. It's just a frame. This is the frame from the original to this channel Schwinn Aluminum Comp. I've stripped it down for most of its parts, including, well, it looks like I do have still a derailleur on there. Yeah, that's my Advent 9-speed. This is actually going on Project E. Oop, spoiler. That means I'll just have this frame. So you know what I might do? I might build this out, build this back out, rather, to a budget version of the Aluminum Comp or a budget build, and then donate that. Another keeper. There is no way I'm getting rid of this bike. I have too much money in it, and it is so fun to ride. You're going to be seeing this again soon. This is my Ledge X1 build Project Ledge. Amazing, amazing. Still working like a champ, just kind of shoved off right now to the side. But it gets ridden, it's staying. There's this thing that, yeah, I know, it was part of a water test gone wrong. I might cover this in a final video and then give away the parts. At least to the local bike shop nonprofit or local bike trail nonprofit. Didn't fare well exposed to water. We're down to the last two, and for this, I had to go all the way to the guest house. This is the Concord commuter that I reviewed, $498 for one of the most amazing e-bikes I've ever seen at a big box store. Amazing, and its sibling, the step-through commuter. I'm going to review that coming up. I thought it was going to be the one people would choose, but instead they wanted to see this purge video. So look for this video within the next couple of days. Both of these will be donated once I am complete with them, but I have a series of videos, or at least the review on that one's complete. I have the review for this one coming up. Then I'm going to make a video where I compare the two and talk about the differences because there are some differences between these two bikes. Pretty amazing considering the price that they would tweak each one individually. A good job, Walmart, with your new brand, Concord. So start tallying up and count these two as donations. Let me know, comment down below the most creative and kind comment I will pin and or just pick one at random to pin, but I need to know the number and we'll see what's going to stay if I made it to my 6 to 10 goal or if they're more than that that I decided to keep. And don't forget to count those bikes that I listed at the beginning that I don't have access to right now. There were about six of those, maybe even seven. Thanks for watching.